to you all. I bring this space for the last 10 years. And I've had the time to interact with a number of views that post the it. And most of the problem in this kind of space is lack of access to finance, how to gain traction. If we don't have traction, you can't raise money. When I was starting out, I had the same issue. We had a brilliant technology. We had an amazing team, but we couldn't raise money. That's a sad story. Imagine you spend two years developing models. But when you go to investors or ask you, how are you making money? Where is the revenue coming from? This is a sad story for most of the African startups. But today, I'm going to be talking about three things. One is what we call, of the fact that we call failure. Right now, we have two people on the screen. One is the founder of uh, Ariel, the other one is the founder of Angela, as well as Flutterway. These two people have managed to raise over $20 million combined. How do they do that? So, right now, if you want to be disruptive, there are three things you have to do. One, you have to do a big packing. Two, you have to learn how to build platforms. Three, you have to know the language the investors understand. Imagine when we're starting out to raise money. I come from a different background. I don't know anything about business. We had to hire someone who's got it. It's a teasing business. That helped us to talk to investors. That helped us to get the traction we have today. Two, I'm going to talk about platforms. When most of us came to you, we didn't have businesses. They gave us a network. We used that network to talk to investors. We have prominent people coming to AU. And from that, we are able to create exchange ideas. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the language the investors understand. If you look at the buzz and risk going on around right now, it's impact investment. How can you talk to these people such to raise money? What language do they understand? If you look at Andela, the reason why they were able to raise that amount of money is because they had the message they were sending. They were saying, we are trying to combat climate change. We don't want developers living in Africa going to Silicon Valley because they want to reduce their carbon footprint. For us at every predict, we say, we are making farming cool. For you, we say, we are building the next African leaders. That's the message you always want to say to the investors. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. That was it.